more, there will be more steps that you will make in your spiritual journey, like baptism, read the Bible, praying, worship, serve the God, and so and so. <coughs> um, it's kind of like a, t- a tectonic destruction of the old nature uh, for you to become more and more holy. And uh, and then the lake started to form. So you kind of produce something that looks like uh, new life. But it's lake. It's not ocean yet. So Christians don't immediately become perfect and holy. And uh, But we know that the transition is going in the right direction to, towards the final goal. Um, and we also see the mess he makes, right? Here, we know that even for mature student, um, mature believer, um, we can be in the kind of messy mix because it's kind of like training. Um, sometimes we can be off guard and, and let the old nature take over us. But of course, God will also um, guide you to repentance. You repent, repent, and then you go back on track. Um, so in general, you are still on the, uh, uh, on the right uh, track, uh, progressing to uh, what, what you should be. And I agree that just as the nature takes a transitional approach from rift to drift, we Christians also experience a transition from the old to the new spiritual nature that will last for the whole lifetime after accepting Jesus. 